Hello and welcome to another lesson in our hotels management system development. In this lesson, we are going to be dealing with our customization forms. That is the how we can customize the name of our hotel, address, contact, and also logo with just a click of a button using user forms. Okay. So to start with, let's click on this settings um, sheet here. Let's select the entire um, sheet and change the background color to white. Okay, so this I'm sorry, the, the background color should be white, and then the text color should be black. Sorry. So once we are done with that, the next thing we are going to do is to uh, de define our ranges where we will be storing those values. Okay, so starting from I10 here, the I10. Let me merge. Okay, let me yeah. Let me extend the range item here a bit like this. Select it and then just type hotel name. Okay, hotel name. There you go. So select it and this. Okay, for now, let's come to the next range here. And just type address. And then the next one, let's type contact. Oh, sorry, email. It should be in that order email. And then the last one, contact. There we go. Sorry. There we go. So this perfect. So what we are going to do is to select this. And then let's format it to be a real black. There we go. So reduce the font size. Perfect. So now with the fields that will hold the, the various values starting from J10, and then let's extend this a bit. We're not going to merge it. Let's extend it up to here. So here hotel name is going to be here. Hotel now, just name it H N A D E M. Sorry, E M, and then C O and contact. What I'm going to do is to select all this and just give it all bodies. Here, I'm going to select this and then center this. Perfect. And then I want to decrease the font size and bold it. I'll maintain the font style. There we go. So this. Should be should have J10, J11, J12, and J13. Okay, there we go. So once you have that, you are good to go. Make sure you use the same ranges. Okay, perfect. So let's move forward. The next thing we're going to do is let's locate that particular customized form. Let's go to the back end and then let's grab FRM customer. So this is it. I have this text box one, text box two, text box three, text box four. Text box one holds hotel name, text box two address, three email for contact. Don't forget of that because I already be coming here again. Let's open the let's launch the submit model. So here is data validation. We just want to make sure that the user enters this, 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 and that. It's very, very necessary for customization. So if there's a fails to enter any of them, we'll prompt them using one of these messages there. So once that happens, then sheet five. Which sheet is sheet five? It depends on your sheet five. That is settings sheet. I would want to grab what is in the in the text box one, text box two, text box three, text box four. I would want to grab them from this here, 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 here. I would want to grab them and bring them inside here, 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 and here. That is what I'm doing in this first line of code. So that's what I'm doing here. Okay, that is that. In fact, so sheet one as the home page. But what I'm going to say is that the C2 should take the name of the hotel. The name of the hotel is coming from what? It's now stored inside J10. This is J10. Don't forget. This is J10, J11, J12, J13. So name is in J10, address is in J11, email is in uh, J12, and then contact is in J13. So what I'm I'm saying here is that the C2 that is the home page where the name of the hotel is going to be should be coming from J10. Okay, you will see that. So this is the home page. So you can see the value here is C2. You can see the name here is C2 based on where we matched it from. If yours is not C2, then you can change it from the code. It's very simple. So the name of the hotel will come here. The contact will come here. The email will come here. Let's look at these ranges. This is H10, and this is what. O10. Let's go back. So that is that. So we are saying that H10 that I just showed you should coming from J13, and that is what the contact. Okay. And then uh 
on that same sheet one out and that is where the email address is that is j12 so we are storing those values there and then here too we have sheet six sheet six is what let's locate it that is the bill sheet on that bill sheet k2 would want to store the name of the hotel there which is coming from j10 on the settings sheet k3 should be the address coming from j11 and then k4 should come from what j13 that is the contact so when we go to the bill sheet bill sheet we have this k1 k2 k3 and k4 okay sorry we have k2 starting from k2 k3 and k4 name address and contact so we are picking them from here okay uh, from j10 that is the name and then address and contact and then storing them on the bill sheet now we come to sheet 2 sheet 2 is what the welcome on the welcome to you realize that the range c2 here holds the name of the hotel so we are start bringing that name to here and the address is i5 and then the contact is i6 so let's look at that let's look at that the, the, the c2 holds the name of the hotel on the sheet 2 that is the welcome page i5 the address and then i6 the contact so once that happens then we would want to lock that is protect the sh which one is the sh initially i didn't even walk you through here we set we deem sh as worksheet and then the sw as worksheet sh is the home sheet sw is the welcome sheet and here by default we want to unprotect them first because anytime we are done customizing by 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 the virtue of our code you realize that there's the sheet to be protected so anytime we are coming to recustomize or rewrite to those sheets we need to unprotect them so this is where we protected them so if you are looking for a password to just unprotect your sheet this is the password for you don't forget as a developer you should be able to get all these things so that when you are coming to fix a bug you don't you don't suffer in doing that at all very simple so this is the um the, the password so we protect it before doing all this before writing to all those sheets so once we are done the sh which is the home page then sw which is the welcome page we want to protect them back and then tell you that hey message box says what success meaning you just um, customize your system and then unload me then the form should close it's as simple as that now let's go and run the form and try that and see what is going to happen by now you see the name of the hotel is not here address and that's nothing so let's go to the home page and click on customize so the name of the hotel so let me just name it kilimanjaro hotels limited address kg pt street number two email kili at one two three dot com okay let me just take it that way contact numbers one two three four five slash if you have a lot of contact numbers after the first one then you add slash then in that order so once i'm done what i'm going to do is to click on submit you can see it says success so now you can see that we have the name of the hotel here the contact is here the email is here okay and also we have the uh, let's go to the welcome page here too you can see we have it here address and contact when we get to the bill sheet the name of the hotel here address and contact let's just reduce the font size here Perfect. so there we go this looks good as simple as that that is how we want it so you can see that everything is now okay and everything is up and running so let me just unprotect those sheets and continue with my work you can see that right now the sheets are protected. I'll show you based on the code. When you look at our home sheet, look at this. If I try editing, see that it can't work because it's protected. So I will just click this and paste the password, open it. And then the welcome to as well. For now, since we are still working on them, I'm protected. So now I can edit them. So that is how we customize our system. Now let's see how we can also let's set this well. Now let's see how we can also get our logo appear on the welcome page on the home page and also on the bill sheet or the receipt okay perfect so to do that let's go to the back end once again
and then let's come to frm logo upload this is it sorry frm logo upload this is it so here let's just double click to open this so this is xbox one which is going to hold the path of our logo so double click on this so here this mode what we are doing here is actually whenever we click on this button here it will open our file explorer for us to browse and grab our logo okay so this is what is happening there when we trigger that open so we are setting file and um, let's say the file dialog is equal to application dot file dialog mso file dialog file picker okay we are just dimensioning the file dialog as what we are setting it the fd as that okay initially we set the fd as file dialog box as file dialog and then we are setting it here to be what the file dialog file picker we want to pick a file and image it's a file so we have the methods for the fd that's the file dialog so we are setting it so fd.filters.add images so we want to filter the kind of images we want we can go for jpg jpeg and png any other extension will not be accepted so these are the extensions we are taking if fd.show equal to negative one meaning that if an item is selected meaning if we are able to if if an item that is an image is selected then what we are going to do is what so to get a selected image here, so the image path is equal to what fd dot selected item we can select one item at a go so what do we do when we do that we are assigning the path of that selected item to what equal to what the image path which is declared here as a string so it's going to be stored inside that this particular text box so let's click on browse and see something so we go to the desktop so this is the image we have so when we select it you can see that we have the path here let me reset the form let's go back okay optimization of show. I'll, I'll figure that out and, and then re, re check it for you don't worry um there is something happening when i click on this one so let me grab the name of the hotel uh, sorry the name of the form here and then let me open this one it says frm customize it shouldn't be frm customize it should be frm logo upload dot show so check it and fix it that way okay that is that sometimes it, it happens when we copy code from one place to the other there we go so so once we have the path stored in there what we are going to do is to assign the path to the various shapes we kept on the uh, on the various sheets when you look at this one this model here takes care of the receipt so we are going straight to the receipt sheet and then locate a shape called logo re don't forget when you click on it here you can see the name is logo re so we are going to locate this particular shape and then paste the image there that is the first one then we come back to the welcome this is this is for the welcome model we are going to locate another logo name what logo w meaning logo for welcome and then paste the image that is it over there the ones we are done don't forget before we do that we unprotect it and then after pasting the image we protect it back and then finally the home page the home page is the first thing and that one is already done here the home page is done within the 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 the, the file upload okay so the moment we do that the home page will be filled with that and then the receipts will also be filled with the logo and also the welcome page will also be filled with the logo as well so what we are actually doing here is that we define or we, we created a separate model for receipt separate model for welcome and after that we call all of them inside the home model which is here so you can see we call the receipt here and then we call the welcome here so anytime we trigger this to what is going to happen here get executed and this get executed and we have our logos pasted on the various sheets without any issue this is a bit advanced okay so you can take your time and go through the code snippet so now what we can do is let's uh, minimize this now and let's go back to our home page and let's go to logo or upload logo let's grab this so now let's browse our uh, file this then click on ok so once we click on submit you have logo you see that the logo is pasted here let me unprotect this sheet huh? right. sorry okay maybe i i, I, I use the different password right so don't worry i'll fix that so we can see when you come to the welcome is there or you come to the build sheet as well is there it's as simple as that that is how we want it so now my home page is now protected our welcome page is also now protected that is from the 
um, logo model. So what I need to do is to go back to the logo model here. Let me check this. Okay, so what I want to do is to copy the password here. Copy this. Let me copy. Perfect. That is that. Let me come back here. Try. I'm protecting it. See. Protect. I'm protected. There it is. So we are now unprotected. So with this, we are able to customize our system with the name of the hotel, the address, contact, and logo. So this brings us to the end of this lesson. So see you in the next lesson. Bye bye.